The first time I ever saw a snake, I was very young, probably like five years old, and I was alone and I just saw it slithering through the grass and it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I can't explain it, I can't explain where my love of snakes came from. The first time I tried using snake venom, I used a more of a shamanic ancient technique um, of actually making a small incision, um, like a scratch on my arm and dropping the venom onto that scratch, allowing the venom to enter the body. I was very, very nervous. I had no idea what was going to happen. As soon as the venom hit my skin, you could feel it just burning. It felt like fire, like acid on your blood. I was scared, but I had this incredible confidence that it was going to work out. I wanted to see if it was possible to become immune to snake venom. I really had the feeling of that I was invincible. I think I look back on it and I was taking risks. I've been using black mamba venom, I've been using fertilance, puff adders, saw scaled vipers, and some very dangerous cobras. I was injecting these venoms um, every, every other day. I've had doctors saying, your body's not gonna be able to, to take it. I was playing a game with, with death and I was winning. When I had accidentally injected too much into my arm once and I was three days in intensive care. The doctors were talking about cutting my arm off. I thought to myself, wow, I'm in a lot of danger here. I, I might die. When I got out of the hospital, I worried my partner so much that it actually you know, ended up ending our relationship because it was just too much for her. The scientists got in touch with me because they wanted to investigate the antibodies in my blood that I've developed, and they're very interested in making a new antivenom which is safer for human beings. I really feel lucky now that all the suffering that I've gone through is going to be beneficial to science. I guess it's the theory of what can kill you can also save you.